Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Alison from So Like Dotty. If you're new to my channel, it is lovely to have you on board today. And if you're a frequent um, visitor or a subscriber, great as always to have you along. I love to chat. So drop some comments in, let me know what you're up to, um, how you are, what you're making, just general life chat. That's what my channel is, sewing and life chat. So what I've got to talk to you about today, I wanted to say a little thank you to Tamlin from Sewing on the Time. I'm sure that you all watch her channel already. If you don't, go over and give that a lovely watch. Um, but she set up Sew Team, which I talk really passionately about. Lots of us do that go there. And it was a whole year of Sew Team, and she did a little competition for the people who've attended over the year, and I won a prize. So these were... Um, I chose these earrings from Sapphire Frills. Um, so the website's there. Sapphire Frills... Oops. No, sorry. I've gone out of focus. No, I can't get it in focus. There we go. Um, so the, I think they're polymer clay. I just love the colours on them. They're really cute. Absolutely love them. Um, and because I'd, I'd kind of seen Tamlin and some of those get jewellery from there before, um, but because of my metal allergy, I never really looked. So when I won the voucher, I was like, oh, well, I could get a gift for somebody else. But when I looked, you can select sterling silver. And I can make jewellery anyway, but it is nice just to kind of get things given or gifted. Um, so thank you for those. And um, thanks to Sapphire Frills because they were really prompt getting them to me. So what am I wearing? Da, 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 da. It is the Mabel dress, which has been all over Instagram since it was launched by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, I don't know if I've got a longer picture. I'll try and get one. So I'm going to talk really honestly about it. I'm there shuffling things around and um, what I did or didn't do with it, what I would do again. So I do really like it. I know it's not everybody's style, but if we all wore the same style, it would be really boring, wouldn't it? Um, so things that I'm going to adjust on my next make. Um, I followed the directions for the length of the elastic here. So you've got it across your shoulders, across the front, there's two pieces and then one piece across the back. Back's fine, at the front's fine. I'd probably tighten it up slightly, I would say, maybe just a little bit. Um, sleeves, for me, I need these tighter. So I'm probably just going to unpick and go in and alter that elastic a little bit on there. Having said that, they weren't dropping down all the time. I just feel a little bit more comfortable with them. Um, the sleeves, because of my usual paranoia about my arms, I made them slightly longer than the pattern for the short sleeves. Excuse this, this is very creased. I have just took it, chucked it back on after I wore it. But I actually think they would look, I don't know, I'd probably prefer them longer, but I think the fabric is very soft. It's a visco chalice from Pound Fabrics. Um, but I would probably do on the longer sleeve, you do more um, rolls of gather um, sharing. I think it probably needs a bit more or because I did it on the cover stitch, I probably need to use the first needle rather than the middle needle and it will just make my rolls broader. One of the things I generally have to do to most patterns is lengthen the bodice. That's just because, you know, I'm large busted. Um, and although I like things to be a bit of a princess fit, um, this is meant to be on your waist. Now, I actually don't, it's not that I don't mind it. I like where it sits, if you can see it there. But I just think, sorry, I'm trying to get the best angle so you can see it is literally. So I think if I add an inch onto here, it'll just bring it down a little bit more. Um, and make it sit more towards my waist. The front panel, you cut in two pieces and then it gives you the amounts to fold under to create the channel. Then um, you put the elastic in and then the drawstring is, it doesn't pull it in. It's just a tie decoration. There was nothing wrong with the pattern description at all, but it had obviously moved on one side when I pressed it and stitched it. So when I put it together, they weren't even at the top. Um, and because it's got a little keyhole almost here i wasn't sure if i like that or not to be honest i'm not don't mind either way and um, so what i decided to do in the end was um join it together so i've actually just made it one piece and um, and then just i did fasten the tie in before i joined it together and then you do your, your top stitching up, up there anyway you do that regardless so i have started to cut out a white visco chalice blouse in it i mean me with the white blouse i mean you know 
but I made a major faux pas with it. So I cut the sleeves first because the sleeves are huge and I wanted a long sleeve. And then because it was a plain fabric, I had two metres of it and it was wide. I could have turned it, turned it around to do the back and the front um, as a longer piece. But I didn't. I kind of just turned it in from the self edge as I normally would. And then this is me cutting out as I go instead of checking it out. When I went to fold it in, I just didn't have enough. So I've just ordered a little bit of extra of that. It's only... 3.45 a meter but you know what the thing is you can only order it in two meters so two meters of that was like seven pound and then I thought well I might as well get three meters of it or four meters of it in a different color so I've got I've got it coming in a plain, it's a plain viscose chalice in like a quite a sky blue color and I just thought it's like what 12 to 16 pound for the dress I'm happy with that so yeah I'll show you them probably next week hopefully they'll be made up and um, but lengthwise I'm pleased with it and obviously if I extend the bodice a little bit it'll drop the length of the skirt I think I'm I don't know if I mentioned to you guys or was chatting to people from Sawtoon it is quite fabric hungry and um, but yeah it's a learning game so am I pleased with it yes wore it and got a couple of compliments the first day I wore it at work so I was really pleased with that it is a twirl there were bits under here that kind of have points and I just felt like they were messy um, and I hand stitched these down but I did that when I was doing the shirt dress from the Great British Sewn Bee book last year as well it was very similar in sort of how you put the sleeves on um, but it was only once I started the construction of it I'm just going to see if I can find it in here my tea's ready so I don't want to take too long it's not that I don't look for it, but you know. Um, so it just dawned on me that this was a very similar pattern. So as well as the regular shirt dress, there's a shirt strappy dress. And um, moving on from that, there's a shirt top as well. Now, obviously, it's got a different neckline, but this principle here is the same and obviously the sleeves. So if you want to try it out and do you like the fit and the shape and you've got this at home, maybe just check that out. So this was the modern wardrobe. It was last year's book. So just a couple of little cheeky updates. You might remember these two fabrics that I mentioned, I think, on my last, not my last blog, the one before. Um, that I'd made this in the Dixie Dress hack, but I didn't like it. So I've now cut out the indigo bodice in this. Um, so it's just ready to put the sleeves in and the um, the skirt on. And then the other one that was sat waiting was, again, an indigo that was just too small for me. I don't know why the bust. But I'd ordered some. It's just a, like a poly cotton from So Crafty. It was literally a couple of pounds a metre. But I wanted to practice um, doing embroidery stitches. So I'd done these on the sleeves, um, but the bodice was too small. And I was just going to bin it, to be honest. And then I thought... Well, you got the fabric to recut the bodice, so just recut the bodice. So that's basically two indigos that will hopefully be finished over the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's enough to keep me going for now because I've also got um, a sagebrush top in pink. You know, the one that's been cut out for a year that I've promised myself I'm going to have done this month. So fingers crossed. So that's a little short but sweet catch up from me. I hope that you're all doing OK. I'm off to get Miss Gran, so Carl's made us lovely tea, so I'm looking forward to that, and I will catch up with you all really soon, so bye for now.